together, we're going to figure out if there's a relationship between the uh, econom economy and uh, the tax uh, rates. I, I gathered the data from you from uh, OECD, I cleaned the data for you, beautiful data. So uh, I'm going to present to you a box plot. Can some one of you explain me, uh, explain what that shows us, the box plot? Participation guys. Danny? Okay, come on. On the first side, we can observe that there is an increase in the GDP per capita by comparing the first quartile with the third quartile and the mean of every year. Data is equally distributed because the median is in the middle of the box plot and the maximum and minimum are equally located in respect with the median. Luxembourg is an outlier due to its laxity in the private sector, driving a number of companies to move there, and at the same time, this enhances the national company's performance. On the next image, we can observe a decrease in the corporate tax by comparing the first quartile with the third quartile and the median of every year. Even though in some cases the median is not in the middle of the box plot, we can assume that it's equally distributed because in most cases it is. This is a very important property for the next part of our report. Thanks to this, we can assume a normal distribution of the data. Okay guys, I wanted to show you this graph. Uh, all the graphs from, the, from every year is basically the same, almost, but I just picked this one randomly. Can someone explain to me what we can see here, like patterns uh, or uh, anything? Yeah, anything? Okay. Yeah, you? Yeah. As we can see, tax rates in general increase as GDP increases, but not the same pace. We can see how the general trends of taxes converge with the ones of GDPs. Another observation is that countries with higher GDP per capita do not necessarily have the highest corporate or personal tax income, and lower GDP per capita countries do not necessarily have the lowest tax rates. Giving these numbers that we have here, can someone give me a conditional probability? Come up to the board and explain it to the rest of the class. Frederick? Can we calculate? Of course you can. First of all, we wanted to do a tree diagram and a conditional probability problem to see how the different countries get into our different categories that we have in the tree diagram. Given the GDP per capita, which is below or above average, and then see how many of these respectively have an above average corporate tax rate and also below average. And as we can see in the diagram, the biggest chunk of our sample data gets categorized into the below average GDP per capita and thereafter below average corporate tax rate, which we can see constitutes of 38.22% of the entire sample. We have our sample statistics here. Taking into consideration that our null hypothesis is 33,000, who can do a hypothesis test here? Okay. See you next time. Thanks. I want to increase my participation please. The result of the test statistic is that our sample mean is located within the interval defined by our critical values. 
This means that we are 95% confident that the true population mean for the GDP per capita belongs to that interval. So uh, I did this uh, regression analysis for you guys. And uh, can someone explain to me what we can see from this uh, table? Me? Yeah. You want to try? I'll try. We can see in this multiple regression analysis that R square is around 0 0.13. As it is lower than 0 0.5, we can assume that our independent variables are not relevant for the model. We can also see that an increase in one unit in corporate tax rates would cause an increase in 601 units in GDP per capita, and that an increase in income tax rates of one unit would cause the GDP per capita to grow by 417 units. Our t statistics are both below the critical value 1.96, so this confirms that the relevance of our variables. But I mean, you told me that this was a bad model because of low uh, R value. Yeah, R is low, uh, lower than 0 0.5, and last time in class you said that if R square was uh, lower than 0 0.5, this model would do well. We can say that the variables we study. I also said it was other indicators, except for the R value. If you look at the residual value, it's actually 6,000, which is pretty high. Why is that? Maybe because we included Luxembourg? Aha! After seeing all this data, what can we conclude? What's our conclusion? Someone? Yeah, come, come on. on. Yeah. yeah? Come on. To conclude, we would like to highlight that there is a weak correlation between the two independent variables and the GDP per capita for the four years we have studied. But correlation does not mean causation. After conducting all the probability tests needed, we can assume normality in the distribution of data, and we are confident that our sample statistics are good estimators for population statistics. The regression analysis confirmed the low correlation, but it revealed that Despite this correlation, none of the independent variables are significant for the model, and therefore we can conclude that corporate and personal income tax rates do not have a significant effect on GDP per capita. Okay, great uh, job guys. So for next week we have a quiz. Uh, remember to... Have a nice weekend guys. <laughs> Never did that. <laughs>